Hello my loved ones. Life has been interesting as always and I expect it to be nothing else of the sort and I have a story to tell you. So the other day I conducted one of the best interviews I've done in, in a while and in hopes of creating some fantastic content for the new website souldoctors.com I found a great MMA fighter that had an incredible story and I got to interview him and it was really awesome and you know I got to learn a lot about him and what I made sure to do was I wanted the questions that I asked him to be a lot more genuine and interesting I wanted them to kind of like go deep so he's someone who's been exposed to media and various journalists in the past and that's not something that's new to him and so when I was interviewing him, he had no problem pretty much, you know, keeping his eye on the camera. That is something even I still struggle with, but I'm trying. <laughs> so the last question that I asked him, however, he looked me dead in the eye and I asked him, what's the thing that you're most grateful for today? And he responded with my life because I survived so many things that others wouldn't. And as he looked me in the eye and he said this, his answer just pierced through me. And I felt like, wow, how simple yet so profound. And I was so glad to be there to witness that moment. What then happened afterwards was that as I was driving home, I felt incredibly dissatisfied. The moment that I realized just how dissatisfied I felt, even more than that, I began to feel guilty. I've never left an interview feeling dissatisfied. Every time I interview someone, I leave thinking, oh wow, that was great. I'm so glad that I learned, you know, all that they wanted to teach me. And it was always like a good, positive, moment as I left, as I departed, and not this time. And I thought, wow, that's really weird. Why do I feel like this? I don't like the way I feel. How can I even feel like this? So I had to probe deeper. I had to like really deeply consider what and where is this feeling coming from. And the answer came suddenly. And I realized just how discontent I am with my own life. And that may sound strange to people who know me and know of my creative endeavors and they may think, wow, how can you feel discontent? But you can, anyone can feel discontent because you don't know the ways in which they truly live their lives. You don't know what reality their mind is really living in. So as I drove and I smoked a cigarette, I thought, I'm fucking discontent. I'm discontent with the way I've been trying to escape and entertain myself. I'm discontent with the people I surround myself with. I'm discontent with how difficult it is to focus on the things I claim to love. How frustrating. So I sat there and I really thought, what am I doing with my life? I thought about how Christian, the fighter that I interviewed, I thought about how much he had overcome and that he didn't just survive his circumstances, he thrived despite them. And when I really I looked at him and I thought about the person he became, I felt so fucking ashamed of myself and I felt disappointed. And this is not some sort of like, you know, perfectionist point of view where it's like, I need to do better, I have to, I have to. No, it's just that when one truly acknowledges the potential within themselves, you know just exactly how much you can expect of yourself. So I thought about this as I thoroughly began to consider how I spend my time, with who, when, for what reason. 
I realized that the underlying factor of everything was happiness outside of myself. And I know that this is something a lot of people can relate to, and it takes a lot of time at times, and it takes a tremendous amount of courage to genuinely admit to being guilty of this, of seeking happiness outside of yourself. It's tough, you know? I mean, it would be so fucking easy if we could escape through another person, through fucking shopping, by changing our fucking location, if only. And yet, all of that takes effort, right? And how funny and what a coincidence, what a fucking paradox that the answer that you need to everything, the answer you need to fill the void that you feel is right here. It's right here, it's right there. <laughs> what you need is yourself. It's simple, it is so simple, but this simple concept is so difficult to comprehend because it's like, how? how? How is this all that I need? Look at all this stuff here. Look at these people. Distractions, toys, shiny stuff, cars. We live in a world surrounding us with so many different things, people. And we know we're important. We know that we sit in this vehicle and through this vehicle is how we perceive life. But oftentimes, because of the traumas that we've endured, we seek elsewhere. We seek everywhere but within. But that's, that's where you need to go. So that's my video for today. Thanks for being here with me. And dude, hug yourself, love yourself. There's a kiss from me, but fucking kiss yourself. Like, do what you need to do to be happy with yourself, by yourself, and through yourself. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay fucking fabulous. Love your fabulous self. And I'll see you next week, all right? Bye.